Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Magical Music TV, and for another song reaction. And today, a very special song reaction, as it's a brand new project for the channel, first reaction to Dog Whistle. And it's a two-for-one deal today, guys. It's a really good deal. You're getting two songs for one. Camp Orchestra and Not For Love. Now, I'm pretty sure I've heard Camp Orchestra before, the only song I've heard from the band. My friend Rhino... Show Big Camp Orchestra, I'm pretty sure, guys. So we're going to listen to that, which is likely the first song off the album. And then we'll also do Not For Love. Uh, oh, look, I was digging Camp Orchestra when I heard it, guys. When my friend Rhino, shout out to Rhino, who knows all the good music. Rhino, the uh, the music wizard. All things music. Camp Orchestra sounded cool. It sounded a bit like uh, Future of the Left, a bit like Cake. Um, you know, had some good sounds. I was digging a good energy, so I'm keen to check this out. More excited than, than most things in the world. Uh, I want to see what else this band has to offer, guys. So it is the two-for-one deal today. You get two songs for one. Uh, it's an absolutely cracking deal, guys. Absolutely cracking deal, two-for-one. I really do hope you enjoy it. It's only on Magical Music TV you get such great deals, guys. It's really an epic deal, so really do hope you enjoy this one. And let me know, have you heard this band before? Dog, is it, this the name of the band, guys? Or is it Show Me The Body? I don't even know what the name of the band is, guys, okay? That's that's uh, what you would expect from a, a great channel such as this one, guys. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've heard Camp Orchestra was digging it. And that's all I've heard from this band. Don't know where they're from. Don't know anything, guys. I'm just fucking clueless, you know what I'm saying? And, um, look, there's no uh, yay erased us today, guys. We finished the road to 10 subscribers. Thanks to everyone who joined up along the journey so far. Absolutely fantastic magic milestone. Still can't believe that we managed to uh, to reach it. And I'm uh, absolutely thankful, guys. Cannot tell you how thankful I am. So let's get into it. We've got two songs for one today, guys. I'll let you know if this one sounds familiar, guys, if this was indeed the one I have heard. It sounds a bit familiar, guys. It for sure does. I think it is the song I've heard, but I'll let you know with 100% accuracy with the grig in five seconds or so. The more I listen to it, the more familiar it sounds. Oh, this is Deficit. Yeah, this is the one I've heard before, guys. So this isn't a reaction, more of a re-listen. Welcome 
I'm going to assume that's the end of the first song, guys. That is the one I've heard before. And, um, I mean, you can tell why you would want to check out some other songs from this band. All the elements are there for something interesting. The sort of, uh, the staccato guitar riff. It's basic, but the production on it and the, uh, it's just... It doesn't sound like any one genre. And the vocals are perfect. The vocals are perfect, guys. The screaming vocals. The way they mix up the riffs as well. They change the riffs up. Different beats. Stagnated beats. Different heavy sections coming in and out. It's fantastic. And then the, the heavy breakdown. Sort of near the middle to the end. The heavier bit. It almost reminds me of System of a Down, guys. You know what I mean? Some of the heavier System of a Down stuff. It doesn't have the metal tone the dark chug tone to the guitar. It's got a more metallic, hardcore sound to it, but get the same kind of feeling and enjoyment from it. And um, this is good. I was checking out some uh, modern post-punk on the channel. Bands like Squid, Fontaine's DC. I don't know if people would call this post-punk. I mean, I don't really care what, what genres people call shit, but um, this to me, I like how there's more sections and the sections build up and overflow into each other and the heaviness just keeps coming at you in different waves you know what i mean and the vocals just keep escalating and escalating and then they have the heavy section heavy breakdown and they come back in with that original guitar riff again and he's screaming even louder it's just fantastic it's just got a nice punk sound um with a very clean upfront pr production to it you know it's just the guitars are right there the guitars are right there his vocals are right there his scream is really nice it's got a nice sound to it i'm feeling it guys i really feel that that's the song and i was like yeah i've got to check out more more of this stuff and um don't know how my friend rhino found this band but um thanks rhino because uh Sounds good. Let's check out the next one. It's called Not For Love. Really do hope you enjoy it as much as I do, guys. I'm keen to check out uh, more from this band because all the elements are there for a great band. They've got this kind of punk sound, but their own sound, you know, it is their own sound. I wouldn't call this post-punk or post-hardcore or anything. It's just a nice, 
you know, it's a hardcore new metalish kind of uh, sound even, guys. You know what I'm saying? It just feels very fresh. Very fresh and pleasing, gratifying. It's like a good lasagna, you know what I'm saying? So let's check out the next one, guys, on Magical Music TV. And the two for one deal. It's interesting how he started the song almost with the similar vocal style, the vocal phrasing of the first song. And uh, this song kind of did, uh, even it had elements the first song had. I'm glad I did them together. They're like a continuation, you know, of the first song. And um, I was digging, really digging that chorus there when he got into the not for love, spread the love, whatever the fuck he was saying in the the heavy chorus. It was almost like the heavy breakdown from the last song became a chorus in this song. Really interesting. I'm getting just getting uh, definitely Future of the Left McCluskey vibes, but even like a heavier kind of more American version of a Future of the Left McCluskey. And um, a bit of the Bronx, you know, getting the Bronx, Heart Attack American, that song, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look, uh, it's it's good stuff. This song isn't blowing me away like the first song, but um, it's definitely making me accustomed to the sound, starting to get an idea of what this album could be. And um, look, I am enjoying it. I really, I really am enjoying it. Let's check out. Let's check it out again, guys. Honestly. Like the those uh, guitar riffs. Sounds like Future of the Left, but faster. Like this. The only other uh, 
distinct reference I can uh, say that it sounds like is is Young Lean. He, he's in some sort of hardcore band. Um, I don't know the name of it. But they got really fast, heavy, short songs. Really heavy punk music. Young Lean from Young Lean. Fantastic stuff. Um, check it out if I can find that out. It's all in Swedish, I think, so I can't read any of the names of the songs or the band, so I've got no idea about them. But this, the way he sings is the closest uh, comparison that I have. And then the guitar riffs, yeah, sound like a fast kind of McCluskey, the Bronx. It's kind of good, guys. I would like to hear them mix it up a bit more terms of guitar tones and sounds guitar tone i know this is coming in it basically it's the first song still but um very similar guitar tone i'd like to hear a few more interesting sounds in there even if they use keyboards they could use like keyboards and other crazy instruments i wouldn't mind guys like uh the band tomahawk kind of getting a bit of a tomahawk feel as well the Tomahawk mix in all kinds of crazy instruments, and that's I'd like to hear that as well. They just chuck some crazy stuff at us, you know. Because they've got the basics down, all the ingredients are there. All the in I don't know if this is their first album, their second album, their fifth, tenth album, guys, I don't know. If the magic is strong, like it kind of is with this band, definitely got them to get in the magic vibes with this one. But um, I'll, I'll find out more about the band. Where Where are they from? You know, how long they may make music, other projects, what's the first album. But I like going in with uh, not knowing much about them, guys. I really do. I'm pretty sure the name of the band is Dog Whistle, but I'm not even sure. It could be Show Me The Body. So let me know down below, guys, because I've got no idea. Yeah, it reminds me getting some Future of the Left, guys, but definitely more aggressive hardcore. It doesn't have that full sarcastic nature of, say, Future of the Left song. Like this one. The staccato guitar riffs, bass, changing the drum riff, changing the tempo and the intensity, fast riff, slow riff, breakdown, similar to this band. I think we need to do the 4 for 2 deal today, guys, because those first two songs were so similar, I need to go into 3 and 4. So we are changing up. Next one's a Badge Grabber and Animal in a Dream. Animal in a Dream first up. Let's just head into it, guys. First ever on the channel. 4 for 2. Let's go. Same ones who lived for me, died for me. Pain is never forgotten. And blood cannot be paid back with security or money. Participation in anything is the death of something. A camp in the country, a checkpoint in the city. Every institution has hand in the business of death and eclipse. How do I participate? How do I eclipse? How do I want to die? How do I want to fight? I don't want to do
family and friends. You could be one of them. Face club, can't talk, cased in, person cross. Your face will change, your name is gone. No more anyone. Hold a badge, hold a gun. Be you, no one, you can kill anyone. Stand inside, never lie. Fuck a zero for a one. This one had more of like a doom punk feel to it. They're definitely darker vibes. Look, I liken some of the chords in there. And the chorus. The da da da, it was nice, but they're not enjoying the overall darker feeling of this song. But I really like the bass tone. Definitely a future of the left bass tone in there. Which I'm digging the heaviness. Love the whole production of it. The way the drums, the guitar, the bass, and the vocal sound. Just don't feel the, the songwriting is quite as strong in this one. Would have liked if the song was a bit longer, you know? Would have liked a couple extra sections in there uh, for those songs. Was that even two songs, guys? Like, honestly? That felt like, uh, you know, one song. But apparently that was Animal in a Dream and Badger Grabber, guys. But I'll, I'll, look, I'll check the details, guys. There's no, there's no harm in that, me checking the details, looking at the the names of the songs on the album there's absolutely no harm in me doing that so i will do that like by by the time i like, look at the next song i'll check out all the songs was this actually a four for two deal or was it a three for one deal you know what i'm saying so but i'm digging it it's the first time i've ever done more than two songs you know in a video guys we're breaking new ground here on the on the channel Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. Keen to see where this album goes. I'm going to smash through it now because, um, well, you know, I started the snowball down the hill already, guys, but really pleased to uh, be past the 10 subscribers, guys. Really happy to be past the 10 subscribers. And, um, yeah, we've, we're on the road to 20 subscribers now, but um, hopefully that shouldn't uh, take as long as the first 10, guys. Uh, it really did drag on there for that, so I really do apologise, but um, we'll be back next time with more uh, Dog Whistle. Also, uh, kind of closely related is the, the Squid, Fontaine's DC, a few more songs from those guys. We'll be continuing King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, Radiohead, Tom York, Rob Crow Rabbit Hole, The Linda Escape Plan, and um, it's probably something else, Dinosaur Jr. as well. All sorts of bands, musical artists, some... Um, and these are just the bands I know about, guys. There's lots of bands I don't know about, so pop them down below, and I'll get to them in a future video for sure. You can count on that, guys. So thank you so much for joining us. 
on the road to 20 subscribers. And we'll be back next time for another magical music reaction. Stay tuned on Magical Music TV.